So I wanted to do a quick demonstration. This is just some health related stuff. Um, so there's like two things I think that really kind of hinder our, uh, our health. Well, that's, you know, the environmental toxins and then what I'll just call the goo or, you know, the, the, the oils, um, the fats. And it's not that I think that that's bad or dietary stuff. I just mean like mechanically as part of like cellular respiration. Like it's, you need fat because it is the cell, but it's a cell wall. So, but it's in excess, it's suffocating. So, you know, it's a process of the breakdown of fat and oftentimes the homeostasis will maintain that fat. And I'm not talking about that, I'm talking about uh, oils and fats uh, that are in the extracellular fluid um, and, and circulating in the lymphatic system, you know whatever uh so this is what i've come up with and i'm gonna do it standing up because typically i wouldn't i would do it laying down just because it's better to have everything as relaxed as humanly possible but basically like you push sorry, you push in and you try to massage deep and you try to massage really into like the organs and you will like um, feel uncomfortable uh, and it's kind of like I don't really know what I'm doing or really what I'm massaging but I do know sometimes I feel eh and then like I'll do that or something comparable with a, I have a body massager too, which has like a hard, really pointy um, head on it. And I'll push in deep and I'll use that um, to do the same thing, except with a, you know, a significantly higher frequency. Um, but similar amounts of pressure and uh, softness of the abdominal uh, wall to uh, kind of allow it to, to really try to get the organs. Um, and same thing with the back, except obviously with, with massaging the kidneys, it can be very, very painful if you touch. Um, but it's still the same thing, I think. You go probably five to ten times harder than you think you should be able to tolerate and do it with really soft muscles. It's like, I don't even like this because the weight of, or just the me supporting myself, <coughs> excuse me, me supporting myself I'm using too many muscles to really do it. But when you do it sometimes I think that that's really the fat you want to go after and that's the oil is those are the those organs are what's going to really maintain your health uh, more than um, your image or uh, you know whatever well uh, but that's that's just something I was thinking about I was actually doing it and I was like I should get that body massage here and then I was like you know what I was thinking of too? You know, Indiana Jones. Look <laughs> at the guy. Grabs his heart. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of because you really do like reach into your chest. And with some other tools, it's very much like that. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of, but I'll tell you, it is it potentially, like, you're going to make yourself maybe a burp or stuff like that, but as long as you don't physically, like, pierce yourself, 
Um, or do it till you're in extreme pain. Um, I don't think it's really possible to inflict too much damage that way. Um, but I do think it is possible to loosen up some um, some oily residue that might be stuck in some nooks and crannies that have uh, been suffocating for a while, and their uh, their metabolic shift is is uh, is due to be kicked over. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. It's just what I do. I thought it was a good idea. I thought it was worth sharing. That's all.